been 60 years and the Ghanaian community of Perth came out tonight to celebrate in full force independence. Beautiful clothes, beautiful food and beautiful people. The whole atmosphere was completely priceless and it's all here in Perth. My name is Alberta, I'm the Ghana Association President and today we are celebrating our Ghana's 60th independence. So we named our um, event today the Ghana Gala Dinner Dance, Ghana Assisti Gala Dinner Dance and I'm sure everyone over here had a great time, we've been enjoying, it's been a great night so far. Tonight we had the Shadow Multicultural Minister, Margaret Quack, the Attorney General, Honorable Michael Mitchell. We had our own Ghana High Commission Councillor and Minister Councillor and Councillor Affairs, Mr. Hakim Bulligan. And we also had our Ghana High Commissioner, the Councillor, who is actually here in Perth, that look after us, Mr. Fred Swale. So we did have a few dignitaries here and I'm sure they all had a good time and they're all raving about the show we put on tonight. My name is Hakim Balugun. I'm the Minister Councillor of the Ghana High Commission in Canberra. And I'm here representing the mission, Ghana High Commission in Canberra, to join the Ghanaian community in southwestern Australia to celebrate Ghana's 60th independence anniversary. Ghana has come this far even though we are not where we would expect to be, at least we have done a lot which calls for celebration. At 60, we have been able to overcome a lot of strides in our nation life. I am the honorary cause for Ghana in Perth, and I am responsible for Western Australia and the Northern Territories. And I promote business in Ghana from Western Australia and the Northern Territories and I also help all the consular issues that, are, that come up here in Perth. The fight for independence in Ghana was meant to bring a betterment in the lives of Ghanaians. And so today provides an occasion for us to celebrate but also to reflect on what independence really means. Uh, so this basically is our traditional dress. We've got the smock. My mom's also wearing a traditional dress here for women. Obviously, my uncles all are wearing the smocks, which just is a traditional thing that we all have as Ghanaians. Our first president, Kwame Nkrumah, wore a smock when he was announcing the independence for our country. It's all about happiness, it's all about joy, and it's all about oneness. I will say I'm versatile because uh, you can't put me under one instrumentation. You get to hear some little bit of reggae from me, a little bit of hip hop, a little bit of um, hip life itself. Put your hands up, put your hands up. Let me see your hands up. Most of the people who were colonizing us are British. So it's hard to adopt foreign you know, culture into your culture. So we, when we go gain our independence, we were free and we can exhibit our culture anyhow we wanted. The Ghana Association has been going for the last close to 25 years. I was the first president for 20 years and I think that the girls have actually picked the association up and made it better. We wish everybody in Ghana all the best 60th anniversary. Thank you. We wish our country and everybody at home the best, good prospects for everybody, good health. Today is very special in the history of Ghana. I believe without our culture, we, we don't have anything. Uh, everything else is coming from other parts. We have had such a, a good time. I'm very happy today. Thank you. I give you all. I love you all. I miss Ghana, my homeland. Hey! Hello, Ghana. We're having fun in Australia and we wish you a happy 60th um, birthday, Ghana. Welcome to the Ghana at 60 Independence Party in Perth. My name is Perfect. 
Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, this is what brings us together. And I'm so thrilled to see so many people out here. And I'm so proud of everyone. And I'm also proud to be Aussie and Ghanaian. I'm Angela Albuquerque for Undercurrent.